This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1084. Sabbath Ramblings, How to Listen to Your Body by Ben Greenfield of bengreenfieldfitness.com and I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Welcome back to another edition of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web, kind of like an ongoing audiobook. Now we have five shows covering a bunch of different topics. Check them all out by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. So I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short. So let's jump right in as we optimize your life. Sabbath Ramblings, How to Listen to Your Body by Ben Greenfield of bengreenfieldfitness.com. Your body is intelligent. It sends you subtle messages and cues about your state of stress and readiness that, if you learn to listen, can save you from injury, illness, and even chronic disease. As Sayer G writes in Regenerate and Jeffrey Rediger in Cured, The Life-Changing Science of Spontaneous Healing, your body can, when immersed in the correct nourishing and loving environment, repair and renew itself. Very much unlike a car, which would never spontaneously repair a dent, faulty wiring, or worn brake pad. By tuning into and listening to the messages your body sends you each day, whether it's about fitness, food, relationships, or business decisions, you can enhance your ability to be an expert pilot of the finely tuned and intricately designed craft that is your human form. On the contrary, if you rely purely upon self-quantifying wearable devices and take an all-too-popular modern biohacking approach to listening to the body, you can often miss those subtle cues from your body and ironically, grow more distant from being able to care for yourself as intelligently as you could. Anyone who relies upon a sleeping device such as Whoop, Aura, Dream, or Biostrap for self-quantification knows exactly what I mean. You may wake feeling well-rested, refreshed, and energized from what you thought was an amazing night of sleep, but upon glancing at your wearable metrics, you're suddenly confronted with a screen that warns you that your deep sleep was 10% lower than usual and that you had an abnormally high nighttime heart rate. Thus, your readiness for the day is supposedly quite low. Bubble burst, right? The placebo effect of being told by a computer that you're not rested fills you with a sense of stress and unrest and influences you to make a decision to put the brakes on anything mildly stressful or meaningly productive for the day causing you instead to choose to take a long nap, skip a meeting, or forgo a workout. Of course, the opposite is also true. You may wake with a sore and tired body, craving a cup of strong coffee, and feeling as though you barely slept a wink. But when you glance at your sleep app feedback, it shows you a giant thumbs up with a congratulatory gold star for sleep and tells you to go crush the day. So, you venture forth, pushing through tiredness, and experience a somewhat unproductive and unpleasant day as you fight through fatigue because, well, your computer told you you were just fine. What a conundrum. After all, as any regular reader of my content knows, I'm certainly not against self-quantification, wearables, and informed feedback from the impressive variety of devices that can easily track body temperature, heart rate, heart rate variability, respiratory rate, sleep cycles, and a host of other metrics. Metrics that can often, with laser-like precision, inform you as to the general status of your physiological state. Yes, constant plugged-in reliance upon these devices as the sole source of your decision-making about training, recovery, business, food, and more can ironically distance you from the ability to be able to pay attention to and develop an intimate relationship with the innate intelligence of your body and the signals it is sending you. So. How do you know? How do you know if that mental resistance to go work out is just you being lazy or a true sign that you shouldn't train or should opt for something more restorative like yoga or a sauna? How do you know if that dread of placing a heavy barbell on your shoulders for a back squat is because your body doesn't need the chaos, damage, or overtraining that it might create on an anatomical or physiological level or whether your body is instead resisting discomfort and the orderliness, strength, and stability that hard squat day might create for you? How do you know if you're craving carbs due to an addiction to sugar or the need for a quick dopamine hit or to drown feelings of bitterness and remorse 
or whether your body is actually asking you for a much needed refill of liver or muscle glycogen stores. How do you know if you truly need more sleep or if you're just escaping a tough work day or maybe you're depressed or you're procrastinating in bed? How do you know if you want that glass of wine as a palate cleanser and an enjoyable part of a well-balanced meal? Or if you want that hit on a vape pen for a whiff of the flavor and relaxing properties of the cannabis plant? Or if you're numbing pain with an exogenous substance? While self-quantification metrics can certainly help in these situations, they can't identify feelings such as pain, depression, laziness, and anger. And they can also remove you from being able to truly listen to your body and understand in a more deep, intuitive, and ancestral way what your body is really trying to tell you. This, in and of itself, is quite ironic because this fascinating and complex interweb of flesh, fascia, blood, and bones is what houses your spirit and soul and enables you to live your very purpose. Yet, like a cyclist who can't change a flat tire, or an airline pilot who doesn't know how to read the cockpit instrumentation, you often have no clue about your state of health because you simply haven't come to know your body and listen to your body without the help of technology. So how do you listen to your body? Embrace stillness. Embrace silence. When you wake, spend a few extra moments in bed, breathing, wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, and tuning into your body. Before a workout or any other stressful event, take a deep, centering breath in through your nose and then out through slightly pursed lips. Before you grab a handful of almonds or a cup of coffee or a chunk of dark chocolate, pause and take a few more deep breaths. Are you truly hungry or thirsty or are you simply drowning yourself with a temporary caloric distraction? Throughout the day, continue this habit. Step away from the computer Turn off, yes, the podcasts, audiobooks, music, and all the background noise and simply ask your body, how are you? Then, be still for several seconds and listen to the subtle, internal, intuitive cues of your heart rate, your muscle tension, your gut fullness, and your breath rate. In other words, be as fully present as you can at all times. Ultimately, you'll become better at picking up on the subtle clues your body is sending you throughout the day and more intimately familiar with your body, which is all so easy to lose a deep, intimate connection with. Then sure, use your fancy self-quantification devices and wearables, but marry that modern science to ancestral wisdom. Don't completely outsource everything to a computer. Learn to step away from the chaos, the numbers, the apps, and the screens into the still, small silence and listen to your body. You just listened to the post titled Sabbath Ramblings, How to Listen to Your Body by Ben Greenfield of bengreenfieldfitness.com. And now, are you struggling to meal plan? Spend less time on dinner while getting extra flavor, nutrients, and variety, all with Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes your meals easy, affordable, and delicious. And they have meal plans to fit every lifestyle. Recipe cards are included with step-by-step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along. Even better, the ingredients mostly come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepared, which is especially great for me. I can now cook some of my favorites quickly and confidently. My brother, Justin of Optimal Living Daily, has used them for years. He loves their recipes. Their apricot glazed tofu with roasted rosemary potato is really good. Use code OHD80 to get $80 off your first month plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com slash OHD80 to redeem and for more details. That's $80 off your first month plus free shipping on your first box with code OHD80 at greenchef.com slash OHD80. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I really liked something Ben said and want to repeat it here. Embrace stillness. Embrace silence. I can tell you, I have a really tough time with this. Like many, I've been working from home these past few months. This has led to me being in front of my computer screen or cell phone screen for hours at a time. If I'm not on my computer prepping for my courses next semester, then I'm on my cell phone checking and responding to emails. 
I feel like since I'm not going to my office, I need to be productive at all times. When I would have to go to campus and be in my office, I would have a long drive where I could be alone with my thoughts. Or while waiting for students to drop into my office hours, I could have a moment to just sit and think. But working from home, I've stopped embracing stillness and those moments of silence. When I used to have these moments in the past, I would often have breakthroughs. I would remember something really important that I forgot to do or would come up with a new or interesting way to share a concept with my students or an idea I would wanna share on this podcast. By allowing my brain time to process without too many other stimuli, I found I became more productive. So when I read this post to you, I was reminded of how important those moments of stillness and silence can be. And reading Ben's post to you reminded me that it's time for me to find those moments again. All right, that'll do it for the Thursday episode. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll be back here tomorrow for the Friday Q&A and where your optimal life awaits.